I haven't exactly used a ton of wired headphones as of lately since my phone doesn't have a headphone jack my tablet actually doesn't have a headphone jack either and I don't travel with my switch all of the time so in other words I never really have too much of a reason for carrying around wired headphones unless I'm editing of course and I tend to do the majority of my edits here at home regardless so I just really haven't had much of a need for wired headphones at all however that has changed as of recently as a folks over at Creative I'm sent over a USB-C headphone amplifier. This amplifier works with your Switch, it works with your PS4, it works on PC and Mac, and most importantly, it works on your smartphone too. And so, is a headphone amplifier worth it? Introducing the Sound Blaster G3. From the reputable sound card makers to making portable headphone and microphone amplifiers. Let's dive in. And first things first, let's start off with the unboxing. I just cut through the plastic seal to reveal the amp itself. You'll find a USB-C to USB-A adapter for your PS4 or your PC if you don't have any USB-C ports like me. You will notice that there's an optical cable too. You'll also find some instructions and warranty information. That's pretty much it for that. The outer shell is going to consist of plastic. However, that is a very good thing. As you're going to be traveling along with this, you want this to be as lightweight as possible. And that's exactly what it is. It's extremely lightweight and it's very small and it fits in your pockets very, very easily. I'm pretty comfortable using this for long periods of time. So really, so this design works really well in my opinion. And it's also got USB-C, which is always a major plus. Finally, if we're starting to modernize so many accessories, I've been needing it for some time. I'm very happy here. As for buttons and ports, you've got a switch for switching between volume and mixing, which is essentially deciding how the volume reel will behave. You got a mic reel too for adjusting it on the fly and a mute switch. On the bottom, there's a microphone port, optical port, and a 3.5. On the very front of it, you'll find what they call uh, the footsteps enhancer mode button. More on that soon. I would like to start by first getting into the mobile side when it comes to performance. I will be testing the Nintendo Switch and the performance on PC as well. So do look forward to that. But let's start off with mobile. I use this amplifier on my Pixel 4 with my ATH M40Xs from Audio Technica. While just plugging the amplifier in, it doesn't technically make your headphones sound better, it allows your headphones. I found that it also helps with the levels a bit as it keeps the audio from distorting even at higher volume. For gaming performance, this is really where they shine and fulfill their purpose. I tested out some of the features on Switch, though mostly two things applied here. That was the increase in volume with preamps that are much better. The fact that the middle button got some use here. In this mode, the audio is filtered in a way that makes it much easier to hear footsteps. This won't apply for every game you play, but for shooters, this is especially useful and genuinely great to use. The overall audio fidelity does take a hit somewhat, but it's worth it in exchange for a greater advantage in gaming, and it genuinely is a much nicer advantage. And on PC and PS4, you get to use all of the features that it's capable of. You can just adjust the mic volume and mute it on the fly and switch between different modes manually and quickly, adjust the volume of the game volume versus the volume of your teammates and so on. The amplifier gives you so much control that it genuinely enhances gaming experience for me in spite of any platform I've ever used. And the ones with voice chat, I will benefit the most here as well. And different Frank, I honestly don't have any complaints in regards to the Sound Blaster G3. I'm genuinely surprised with this product. I think that this is a really great product for listening to music and giving your headphones a boost, but also serves as a hub for all of your gaming related needs in regards to audio. I really like this, and for 60 bucks, it's honestly really tough to toss aside. Honestly, highly recommended. And if you're interested in purchasing the G3, then I will be making sure to leave affiliate links to Amazon in the description. And if you use any of my links to make a purchase, and I do get a small commission that does help me run things a little bit more smoothly around here. And that's it. Until next time, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you all later. Enjoy.